you want to look into more details about it. But I'll give you the last pair of passes this week for the event. Have fun. Be at least 21. Be caller 13. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. All I know is this violates every canon of respectable broadcasting. This is the Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. Oh, what will tickle your ears on Sunday morning, I wonder, when the Week in Cox is airing on the station. Every Sunday morning from 8 to 10, if you're up really early or getting back home uh, really early, it's two hours of the best stuff from the week, all condensed into 120 minutes. And again, I, I hate to toot my own horn, but I'm constantly asked, Alan, how? Do you possibly uh, 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 condense all that amazing material into two hours? It is a painstaking process. I have to dislocate so much material just to get (laughs) that into 120 minutes. Who is hosting this Sunday morning? Uh, Pound Cake and I will be hosting. Bill Squire and Fart Shake will be your hosts. (laughs) He mentioned in the break that what that kid was trying to get on board with was uh, Herbalife. Herbalife. Which, like, that goes back to when I was a kid. That I'm is so, old school pyramid is Herbalife to the 70s. I'm so susceptible to stuff like that. And I know it's... Why? Because you feel bad letting people down? Or? No, because I think it might work. And they tricked her with the uh, whole NF kids and tumors thing. <laughs> no, that's completely <laughs> different. I am a gullible Just, yeah. person, but it's like, well, you can't argue with results. <laughs> you know, when you see someone who's jacked trying to sell you something like that, I'm like, well, he used it and he's, look at him. You know? I didn't even realize that Herbalife was still a thing. It's a publicly traded company. They traded about 47 bucks a share. This guy started, I guess not the 70s, but when I was Bucket. a kid, he started in 1980. The guy was selling the stuff out of his trunk. And look at him now. It's just like a superfood uh, shake or whatever. And also, I found out that, uh, well, I didn't find out, but I came to a realization I, I, I was wrong. It, he did not hit me up on t- Tinder. He didn't match with me. He hit me up on Facebook, and that's what really got uh, me. Because I was like, oh, that's personal. He looked for me. No, so, that's where they do the so business. It, it, was just mm-hmm. a, it was just a hot guy. He sent me a phone request. Obviously, I accepted. Ding! Hey, man, what's up? And I'm like, we started talking. We go on the date, and then that's that's what, how it happened. So, especially did he add, did he use the word date? He, he said, "I'll take you out for a, some. I'll take you out for dinner." That's what he said. Okay. So, it, so I, no, it I was. A, he that's made what I'm it, saying. He didn't. He it was didn't a actually semantic. say. Like, it's my yeah. fault. Yeah. yeah. It's no, totally I'm, my I'm fault. wondering because that's if he it's was so like, "Hey, though. I'm like, I'd like to go grab coffee sometime, or we should we should yes, meet up." People say all the time. No, I know. If a guy says, "Hey, I want to take you out for a drink," what do you think? No, I understand. I completely understand. He was just like, "Yeah, we'll go get some beers," and he was like, "I'll treat you." He, he was like, let's go get some beers and, and some dinner, my treat. I'm like, oh my gosh, how, how progressive. Like a, a macho man wants to take a little old me. So, yeah, stupid spaghetti warehouse yeah, but, just sitting there. But also, <laughs> Pound Cake, not to split hairs, but Pound Cake did refer to himself as high profile, but said that this date happened during his internship here. Yeah, but how did he find me? On the dating app. No, 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 no this Facebook. was Facebook. He didn't find him on a dating app. He found him on Facebook. So he could be listening right now. He's trolling on Facebook. Maybe he was looking at photos of people who looked dim and easily susceptible <laughs> right, to easy. what this guy was. Uh, hey, what do I? Uh, yeah. Listen, if the mm-hmm. pointy cap fits, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Maybe he was looking for people who looked uh, like, boy, as a sucker every you know minute what? and two to take him. It's, go ahead. I'm just saying, I think word got around because <clears throat> I found out later that he's actually friends with one of the guys that I used to talk to. So I think this guy said, oh, this guy's lonely and desperate. I just got oh. done with him. No, <laughs> I, I think they, then you were a mark. I'm, I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. He had to find me for some reason. And like I said, it was a blow to my ego because, of course, I'm thinking I'm high profile. Of course, you want to be seen with me. It's a good look for him. No. I, this guy just got done with but you me. You were an intern here. I, I well, still a more high profile than Akron. I told you when I went there, the teacher. Oh, you were, but he right. thought he knew you were DJ Cobra. He didn't know you were Fartshake yet. I mean, whatever. Right. 
But still, I mean, if I get people to buy Herbalife, then Herbalife. <laughs> Herbalife. Uh, Herbalife. It was a story by a guy named Herbert. And uh, then, would then, you like to buy Herb? Herb in your life? <laughs> it's more money for him. Oh, Herb. He had a great idea. So, yeah. Not now. In memoriam. That was the first strike against him. Hancock. His name was Herbie Hancock. <laughs> Herbie. Yeah. Herbert Arthur Life <laughs> de- uh, dedicated himself to uh, uh, helping the- other people increase their... Mm. Longevity wasn't yeah. the first time a straight person let me down. It won't be the last. Well, maybe. Um, and you know what? Knowing that is half the battle, really. But I just never... to go out with him and yeah, yeah, it's great gentleman, perfect yeah. gentleman. And like he was it had polite conversation, and he wasn't. I was like, wow, he hasn't even mentioned like you know sloppies yet. Like usually that's the first thing. Uh, my, I was like, I thought this was just gonna be like a wham bam. Thank you, Sam. Nope. Right, but even as savvy as you are with all of the conversational whatevers, why didn't that uh, set off your spidey sense? If It did. If, well, you still went out with the guy. But I wasn't going to turn it down because I was like, what if I'm wrong? Oh, I, I you've see. been wrong before, pound cake. And like, you get the free meal and everything. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I might. what do I have to lose? I'm lonely and desperate. I just got off <laughs> you know, someone else's tip. And now I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying. So, yeah. Good for you. I was trying to move on. I was like, you know what? The best way to get he over caught, he, a man. He, he caught you <laughs> on the way down. Yeah. Got you on the way down. That reminds me, I need to at some point tell Mary all about my comedy set list organizational binders. Uh, and I want you to help. Uh, I want to show them to you and see if you're interested. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. For a small personal uh, you investment. You know what? That might work if I knew that you wrote things down, but you write on stage. And I was like, does he keep his stuff that organized? Like, there's no way. Earlier in my career, I was oh, in Warrington. Yeah, okay. so, you know, mm-hmm. He couldn't even remember the name of his old tubing team. <laughs> yeah, right. Know, uh, bad, bunches so. of fallers and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> people rolling down the hills and all that crap. My it's defense, cold out or going down the hill I didn't team. really like the name. So. <laughs> Understood. But now, click, click, tube! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so much stupid. better. It's so much better. Click, click, boom! I, I get it. I know, but you were on the camera as I did it, so <laughs> you can see your eyes rolling oh, hard. Yeah. You could hear them rolling. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought those league guys were here playing pool all of a sudden. <laughs> By the way, people are telling me if those guys were in a league, then they were paying the bar to play there. Which Just might, two dudes? Which might have account- Maybe they were practicing. They might have accounted why they were in such uh, uh, poor mood when you got them, or maybe they were just... Not as accommodating. If that's if that's the case, and there were more people playing pool earlier in the night, but I think that that would be bad planning on the bar's part to, to put a pool up. league on the same night as trivia. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know bars. They don't. They're just trying to get asses in the seats. They're trying to get people in the door. Them out, you know, you would think. I don't know. Hey, I got a thousand dollars to give to you. Once an hour, about thirty past. It's a chance for you to go fund yourself, and it has come around. Once again, so good luck. Hey, it's Rover. Go fund yourself. We have your shot at $1,000 now. Text the nationwide keyword DIG to the number 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info. Standard data and message rate supply in this nationwide contest. That's DIG to 200-200. Good luck and go fund yourself from 100.7 WMMS. I think by this time we've all had the experience now of whatever your smart speaker is at home Mm -hmm. or even your phone. You say something, it's clearly hearing you, and then it comes up in your social media feed Mm -hmm. shortly thereafter, right? Oh, yeah. I'm wondering if the iHeartRadio app is listening to us in here because moments after we, not moments, but I mean very shortly after we mentioned these people in passing, Bare Naked Ladies announce a tour and a stop in Cleveland. Maybe, oh, wow. Maybe they're the ones behind it. No one had talked about the Bare Naked Ladies south of Mississauga for the past 10 years. And now we mention it in passing in kind of a faintly nostalgic way. And now the Bare Naked Ladies touring with the Gin Blossoms. Hey. Nice. And Toad the Wet Sprocket. Oh, well, I, like I don't know that sprocket. one. Uh, July 3rd, they'll play Jacob's Pavilion at Nautica. That Ooh. puts them down there the same night as the Def Leppard Motley Crew show over at First Energy Stadium. Oh man. I'm now, what, a, what a night. As you might suspect, I can only imagine there's going to be huge crossover in those audiences. July 3rd. 
So if you, the Jets that night. <laughs> so if you go, Alan, you have ruined my summer already. Is, I love the bare naked ladies, and I love Motley Crue. Now what am I going to do? Is uh, Darius Rucker? That's not him. That's not him. <laughs> That's Hootie and the That's Blowfish. Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> I was excited to see him, but then I... I, I really that is Hootie and back. the Blowfish. Bare Naked Ladies. It's been one week. It's been. Okay, we yeah. talked about them a couple you weeks. You do it good. They're yeah. Canadian. Yeah, you did, yeah. <laughs> can you um, do it again? That was real good. It's been. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it's good. That's like really good. That's all I can do. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's all it's you need. Like, People know what the song yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gin Blossoms, Dynamite, Toe the Wet Sprocket, they, like them too. One mm-hmm. Headlight. That's the Wallflowers. Wallflowers. Yeah. But they are opening for, who did I just see? Somebody's coming through and... Jacob the, Dylan. <laughs> Jakob Dylan, yeah. Wallflowers are touring with somebody. And I hadn't uh, heard about them for a long time either. Who are they going out with? Matchbox 20. Ah. That's Rob Thomas. Ah. Not Darius Rucker. No, no, no. But no. that's coming here too. So they're obviously lining up all these summer tours. There's like I, power tours. I don't like Rob Thomas by himself though. Well, I think these other guys, uh, to your point, they've got mortgages to pay. It's mm-hmm. like Maroon 5. Mm-hmm. People are like, eh, I like Adam Levine. That was one of the questions last night, too. But Adam Levine can't do a solo. He tried, He tried. He can't do a solo album. He tried it, and it failed miserably. So he just does it Maroon 5. It was uh, who played the Super Bowl halftime show. And I was like, I think we talked about that. Oh, Maroon 5. Ton, yeah. So if you like Matchbox 20 and the Wallflowers, they're going to play. Uh, maybe they aren't coming here. I don't know. They're playing Detroit, and they're playing Toronto. and I'm kind of bummed out that that oh, they're playing, the same day, though. They're playing Blossom August 25th. There you go. Yeah, you got to make it. You you, you like Def Leppard, but I you do. also like Bare Naked Ladies. I do. I like the Gin Blossoms. I also mm. like Motley Crue. What am I going to do? And on a Can holiday, you double up, or you think they'll be at the same time? Do they stagger them? One no, starts, one no, starts at 7, time. one starts at 9.30? Fortunately, they're both downtown. Mm-hmm. It's not like Blossom to something else. Mm-hmm. Jacob's Pavilion over to First Energy is doable. Yeah. Depending on the lineup. Depending. You saw Eminem dropped a surprise album this morning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At midnight or something, right? 20 tracks. It's called Music to be Murdered by. He's got Anderson Pack. He's got Black Thought from the Roots. Q Tip. He's got a lot of collabs. Q-tip. He's got a new diss track for MGK. He's still digging into that well. A posthumous collaboration with Juice World. Remember that dude died? Yeah. Oh. Ed Sheeran. Wow. He's dead too? <laughs> yeah. No, no, he's on the Eminem <laughs> okay, album. Yeah. Sorry. Well, so, I mean, this album is called Music to Get Murdered By. Music so to Get Murdered By. Mm-hmm. That's right. I got a little clip of it here for you. It doesn't sound like anything he's ever done before. <laughs> <laughs> I ran to the supermarket late last of the weekend. I rode in the wind in the red of the I hit the record button on my sound recorder and I just gave the splurting out the words in my head saying boom, boom, boom. That's pretty good. I like that. Different direction for sure. It is absolutely a different direction. He's no Bitcoin, but we'll settle, I guess. <laughs> He is no Bitcoin, is he? When's Bitcoin going to drop something new, or is he, did he die? I was going to say, <laughs> his latest album was oh, really like he die? Oh, <laughs> five years ago. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's... You know, I've been with a lot of bitches, and out of all of them, I can make a solid argument that you're the best. You give one hell of a job. So many chicks been on my d- but not a single one done stick the way that you do. The way that you do. Most feel right for only one night, but your p- is just so damn tight. <laughs> That's goodness. why you're the best bitch. That's why you're the best bitch. You're the best way to spend my bread. Really good at giving. <laughs> Take you back to meet my parents if they weren't already dead. <laughs> I show you life's <laughs> finest places and amenities. That's what you get with the G in his 70s. I know you like a man who knows exactly what to do. You know it's true, I've been doing girls since 42. Back when the Nazis were invading Britain, I was making bitches purr like a mother kitten. Back when Armstrong landed on the moon, I was getting hit on the daily, every day crushing poon. When they took down the wall in 89, I was in my prime, making panties fall all the time. After civil rights movement, everyone was free. Then I gave every girl the right to 
my D. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he's good. Tony D. I mean, he him is no, no joke, boy. Yeah. He's 82 now. He broke at 77, and yeah. now he's 82. I've never heard that. He's out of Philly. Oh, he's great. I hope he is still Dirty alive. old man. That's the we didn't start the fire of old man having sex. Oh my <laughs> That's goodness. Right. Back in 42. <laughs> Take you back to meet my parents if they weren't <laughs> already, already dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's honestly no pressure. I mean, yeah, you can great. do whatever, take whatever type of girl you want. You ain't got to bring her home to mom. No, mm-hmm. you just take them to the cemetery and be like, here's where they are. What, if, what would you do if somebody did that? What? If took they you to had, the cemetery? Not just an old man, but like if you were dating someone who had dead parents, and they're like, I want you to meet my mom, and took you to a cemetery. Bring a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, Like the dark humor in it, I think would be okay, but I'm like, yeah. dude, you're, you're disturbed. Yeah, probably, <laughs> I have one friend who lost both of her parents and like her friends or her family essentially but I'm saying would she take a guy to go meet her dad <laughs> I don't know in the uh, cemetery I'm, you gotta I'd like get to, his approval <laughs> I'd like to propose but I want to get your dad's blessing first Oh let me God, let me so go get dark. a let me go get a spade <laughs> you go there uh, if I can marry your daughter please give me no sign <laughs> mm-hmm. well he didn't you want out and he's just like well you didn't say yes mm-hmm. Uh, Mike from Parma texted and wants to know, Poundcake, are you sure that that guy wasn't trying to sell herpy life? <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, good. I'm going to find the guy in the break because I, I remember his name and I know the people that he like follows, so I'll have to find him. Alan, July 3rd is also $2 beer night at the Tribe game. Oh, so downtown, downtown is going to be, be bananas. Mess. An absolute mess. Bare Naked Ladies at the uh, Pavilion. I'm going out of town. Jacobs. First Energy, that crew Def Leppard... Uh, Joan Jet Poison Tour, and then $2 beer night. By the Is way... Poison, not Poison? Poisson. Yeah, it's French for fish, mm-hmm. Bill. Yeah. Um, by the way, yeah. I was thinking, poisson. and I'm sure some people will ask, Okay. if you lose and your punishment is dressing like the 80s girl, uh-huh. will you also be rocking the Joan Jet uh, camel toe? toe? I don't want to. <laughs> Well, nobody wants to. That's pretty private. I think that that would be Those the cherry parts. on the Sunday. Yes, that would be the icing on the cake. The private parts. Make them public parts. I don't want to. All right. I was just asking. I'm not trying I'm to behalf, yes. sway you in any direction. Have you seen it, though? Yeah. That's too much. She's too got, much. She's got a lot. It's a lot of lip. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Good size. Nice llama. <laughs> All right. I got a break. Hey, I'll have those incarceration passes for you. They got another killer lineup this summer. Three days in July out at the Ohio State Reformatory. Limp Biscuit and Weezer and Blink and Papa Roach and Mastodon and many, many, many more. So three-day weekend passes for you coming up. 35192. Want to text me? You can watch live at alancockshow.com. And you can listen anywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7.